Did you know when cars were first made? In the early days, only well-off families could afford a car. Today, most people with the need to commute to and from work own a car. Keep watching to find out how cars evolved from three-wheeled vehicles to today's four-wheeled automobiles. The earliest vehicles in the 1700s to the 1890s were powered by steam and electricity. It may be a surprise to discover that electric vehicles aren't a new concept. The first automobiles actually ran on steam and electricity, and the first vehicles were developed in the late 1700s. However, it all started in 1478, when Leonardo da Vinci invented the self-propelled car. This happened many years before anyone else even thought about automobiles. However, the car remains a sketch on paper and was never actually made. This self-propelled car is not a car like the one seen today. It's more similar to a cart and does not have a seat. In 1769, Nicolas Joseph Cournot built the first self-propelled road vehicle in France. This vehicle is a tractor for the French army. It has three wheels and moves about 2.5 miles per hour. In 1789, American Oliver Evans received the first U.S. patent for a steam-powered land vehicle. It was in the early 1800s when inventors around the world began building electric-powered buggies. In 1801, in Great Britain, inventor Richard Trevithick built a steam-powered road carriage. It's considered to be the first tramway locomotive. It's designed for use on road, not railroad. In 1807, an internal combustion engine that uses a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen was invented by Francois Isaac de Rivas in Switzerland. He also designs a car for the engine, the first automobile powered by internal combustion. However, his design turns out to be very unsuccessful. In 1823, English engineer and inventor Samuel Brown invented an internal combustion engine. It has separate combustion and working cylinders and is used to power a vehicle. In 1832, Robert Anderson invented the first crude electric carriage in Scotland. It's powered by non-rechargeable primary power cells. In 1863, Belgian engineer Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenoir invented the horseless carriage. It uses an internal combustion engine and can move at about 3 miles per hour. This is the first commercially successful internal combustion engine. In 1867, German Nikolaus August Otto improved the internal combustion engine. His engine is the first to efficiently burn fuel directly in a piston chamber. In 1870, Julius Hawk of Vienna built the first internal combustion engine running on gasoline. In 1876, American George Baldwin Selden invented a combined internal combustion engine with a carriage, though it's never manufactured. In 1877, Otto built the four-cycle internal combustion engine, which is the prototype for modern car engines. On August 21, 1879, American inventor George Baldwin filed the first U.S. patent for an automobile. This invention is more similar to a wagon with an internal combustion engine. In 1885, German engine designer Carl Benz built the first true automobile powered by a gasoline engine. It has three wheels and looks similar to a carriage. In 1886, Henry Ford built his first automobile in Michigan. Also in 1886, Gottlieb Wilhelm Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach invented the first four-wheeled, four-stroke engine in Germany. It's known as the Kahnstadt Daimler. Meanwhile, in 1898, Ferdinand Porsche did something revolutionary. He created the first hybrid vehicle that was powered by electricity and gas. It was a blueprint for the hybrids that would be built more than a hundred years later. Can you even imagine a car that isn't quite the same as you see today? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Mass-produced, gas-powered cars corner the market, 1890s to 1930s. While some of the very first cars in the 1700s were powered by steam engines, it was in the early 1800s that the first gas-powered cars were invented. In 1885, Carl Benz invented the first gas-powered car, which he later received a patent for in 1886. Benz's first car had three wheels, looked much like an elongated tricycle, and sat two people. Four-wheeled gas-powered cars were later introduced in 1891. In 1890, William Morrison built the first electric car in the US. The car could go 14 miles per hour and fit six people. It was very rudimentary, but it got interest going in America. The invention of the gas-powered automobile marked the beginning of the vehicular evolution in America. The first cars didn't have windshields, doors, turn signals, or even a round steering wheel, which is a far cry from what people have become accustomed to. It was said that Carl Benz's first gas-powered car was the major catalyst for the production of modern automobiles, as many automakers followed in his footsteps, trying to create their own version of a car. At the time electric vehicles were on their way to being the norm, people were interested in owning them. 
but the elaborate machines were too expensive for the middle class. In 1908, Henry Ford's Model T started to resemble automobiles that are familiar with today's vehicles. Due to Ford's invention of the assembly line, the gas-powered Model T could be mass-produced and became affordable for the general population. In 1912, the invention of the electric starter eliminated the need to hand-crank gas-powered vehicles. Once the oil was discovered in Texas and gasoline became cheap, gas-powered vehicles sales began to surge. In 1893, brothers Frank and Charles Edgar Duria invented the first successful gas-powered car in the United States. In 1896, the Duria brothers started the first American manufacturing company in Springfield, Massachusetts called Motor Wagons. In 1900, the steering wheel was designed to replace the steering tiller. In 1906, Alabama set a state maximum speed limit of 8 miles per hour. In 1913, Ford's Model T production rocketed from 7.5 cars per hour to 146 cars per hour due to the utilization of the assembly line. In 1924, the car radio was introduced. Vehicles' features take center stage, 1930s to present. New features came along with mass producing, some of the first being speedometers, seatbelts, windshields, and rear view mirrors. The first turn signals weren't even added to a car until Buick did it in 1939, and that was after the first car with electric windows and air conditioning were made. After that, cars started to get fancy, with power steering in 1951, cruise control in 1957, three-point seat belts in 1959, and heated seats in 1966. In 1940, the first four-wheel drive, an all-purpose vehicle, was designed for the U.S. military. It became known as the Jeep. In 1973, Oldsmobile installed the first passenger airbag into their Tornado model. Over 20 years later in 1998, the federal government required all passenger vehicles to come standard with dual front airbags. In 1974, airbags became a new car safety option. In 1984, New York State became the first state with a law requiring the use of seatbelts. In 1995, the CAR Global Positioning System, or GPS, was introduced. In 1996, zero-emission electric vehicles came back to auto show showrooms due to the rising cost of gasoline and the impact of global climate change. Keep in mind, the first electric vehicles had been designed in the early 1800s. In 1997, the first Toyota Prius was sold in Japan. In the late 80s and early 90s, keyless entry systems, electric doors and windows, sunroofs, and CD players began to be standard features. This is about the time when technology became a big selling point. In the late 2000s, numerous vehicle manufacturers began to abandon once popular gas-guzzling SUVs for more efficient vehicles due to environmental concerns and the recession. Modern Vehicle Features in today's modern age, cars now come with Bluetooth, hard drives, advanced safety systems, GPS, Wi-Fi, and the ability to parallel park themselves. Cars today also come standard with features that were once a luxury and even seemed like an impossible feat in the past. In fact, some automakers have already been successful in producing autonomous cars. It was the 2000s that really marked the dawn of the age of autonomy, or semi-autonomy in road travel. In 2000, U.S. President Bill Clinton ordered the military to stop scrambling GPS signals and open the technology up to everyone. Sat-navs were quickly developed, though it was several more years before they were more accurate. In 2002, reversing camera was introduced. The technology has prevented many reversing mishaps. Little cameras stream live footage of the area behind the car as you reverse. The technology was first used outside of America in a Nissan Primera. In 2003 came automatic parking. Toyota was the first to launch this tech with its intelligent parking assist, which helped drivers parallel park. In 2005, the Volkswagen Group's Bugatti Veyron 16.4 shocks the world with its 987 horsepower, four turbo, 16 cylinder engine. The $1.9 million earthbound missile is the first car with 1,000 European PS or 987 horsepower and reaches an improbable 249 miles per hour top speed it became the world's fastest production car. In the 2010s, driver assist features were made and utilized. Dozens of automated technology features have been developed to assist the driver like lane change departure warnings, blind spot warnings, cross traffic alerts, and headlamp high beam control. Car makers have also begun adding smartphone integration, with many producing apps to find the car via GPS, remotely lock the car, and check its fuel levels. In 2014, Tesla Autopilot came to the world. 
Elon Musk was the first to offer autopilot technology on the Model S. It's the first commercially available driver assistance that can steer the car and even change lanes on the motorway. 2020 is the year of self-driving cars. It was the projected release date of Google's self-driving car, the Waymo. It completed its first driverless ride on public roads in 2015 in Austin, Texas with a blind man behind the wheel. Subscribe for more of our videos if you enjoyed this one.